What's up everybody, welcome back to another video, um, now today I'm gonna be reviewing six of the seven superstitious items, the only one I don't have is Pandora's box, but I'm just missing a Dreamer's Blight. Now, I wanted to let you guys know that in order to get these, you have to make catalysts, which you could do by, um, going to the, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Trade and getting the, um, getting the True Book of Knowledge and selecting one of these where you can see the list of items, place those on your base, and rebirth. And then there's a 30% chance to get one. Now, a lot of them you could get, I'm, so far, first try for me, and then a few of them could take a really long time. Uh, it's pretty much just based off luck. Um, now, pretty much, pretty much what's gonna happen is, uh, you're gonna end up being able to get some of these, and yeah, they're, they're really cool. So first off, we have the Haven, uh, the Havia mine, and it's by far the best mine in the game. It's low to mid, sometimes even high SX uh, ores, and they are immune to pretty much everything. As far as I know, the only thing it's not like fully immune from is blasters, but it's really dense, so it really doesn't die as often as other types of ores. So that's pretty useful. Then, um, we have the, um, Elysium Solemnity, and this is a furnace that does not work if Void Drive is being used, but its base value is 200,000, so it is pretty insane, 400k from a basic iron mine, that's pretty out there, um, and then we have probably one of the best items in the game. Now this is a, um, this is one of the best items in the game. Now this is a, uh, a Tesla. And it does 15 seconds of it has a 15 second timer. I almost said 15 seconds of immunity. I would have been like that would have been a little too much, but it doesn't. It doesn't grant immunity. Um, but it it is another resetter, so you could use items again one last time if you'd like. Uh, and after the 15 seconds pass, the ore dies. So um, this thing is amazing, and it also has a base uh, upgrader of times 100. Now this one, this one's really unique but it's not very good, honestly. Um, this does uh, no multiplier to some degree, but it does do a times 25 eventually. Now, you have to get 50 ores in. It basically takes the ore, swallows it up until 50 go in, and then it spits all 50 ores out with a times 25. Um, so it is pretty good if you manage to use it right, but if you're just going to straight up use it in a grinding uh, reborn setup, it's probably not the best. Then, there's Optic Origin. Overall, as an item, I don't really find this that good. It does a times 0 during the night, but a times 100 during the day, meaning if it does a times 0, it's most likely going to reset the ore's value. Um, I, I, Because of this purpose, I just haven't had a reason to test it, but I'd like to try it really quick. Um, but yeah, as far as I've been told, it doesn't do anything during the night. Yeah, so it does reset ore value during the night. That's really bad um and then this is obviously drayden's gauntlet it's been in the game the longest and what this does is it does an insane multiplier over the course of eight seconds and if an ore getting upgraded by it during those eight seconds is upgraded then the ore is obviously destroyed now this is by far one of the best items in the game if you could use it without ore gates which i will be leaving a guide on how to do um tomorrow morning i'll be doing a few videos a day on this update so let's get an order to sit there and Bluey. all right guys i'll be doing one for uh, pandora's box probably in the morning as well so make sure to check that out and uh yeah guys thanks uh you could feel uh feel free to like if you want subscribe if you want there's no need to do either one but it just helps out a lot uh discord's in the description if you're interested, and yeah, peace out.